This is our fourth video for our SQL mock test for grade 12 RT. We're just doing some practice questions in SQL and we've already done quite a few. So let's just come, become familiar with the database table that we're dealing with. So we're dealing with an educators table. So there are the fields. We've got some lovely names and initials, surname, the teacher code and subjects and that. And then we've got the learners table, which is the details about the students, that their name and surname, the registered teacher, the subjects they take, and the teachers for those subjects. Just be aware that the link is there's a teacher code in the teachers table, then that's linked to the registered teacher in the learners table. So we've done the first eight questions. We're now going to do question nine onwards. And the first eight had to deal with queries where we just want to get information. So we're dealing with select statements. The next couple of queries we are going to be dealing with actually changing the database. And if we want to change the database, it's normally we want to either insert a new record, we want to change a record that's currently there, or we want to remove a record. So we've got three examples of that. So let's do the first question now. We want to prompt the user for a name and a surname, and we want to add a record. In other words, insert a new record into the learner's table. And we must use this button to add our own name and surname into it so we want to just see if that actually works so let's go to the program so we jump to question nine so you can see that this one's slightly different than the previous ones the previous ones we just added the sql and we opened it this one's already been done for us we add the sql but instead of open it we execute the sql because this is not displaying anything it's actually just executing some sort of change to the database and then it's going to show us how many records were affected because that'll be in the rows affected field of the query and then after it we're just going to redisplay everything in the learners table and so that we can see the results so what do we want to do we want to use an insert query so we're going to use an insert field okay now first of all the the one thing I've missed, I think, is we need to prompt the user for a name and a surname. So I need to get a name and a surname. So I'm going to create two fields here. S name and S surname. And they're going to be of type string. And I'm going to use input boxes to put them in. And I'm just going to type that quickly in advance to save some time. So there I've got my two prompts that I'm going to type in. Now, I'm actually not going to use the prompts. I'm just going to type it in just normally and then we will adapt the SQL statement for the Delphi code. So if I use an SQL insert statement, it's SQL into, and then in brackets we specify the fields and then we say values and then we put brackets with the values that go into those fields. So we are only putting into the name field and the surname field. Now I'm going to put them in the word name and then surname so it knows which order to put them in we can swap that around as long as our values over here go into the corresponding value as the order goes so we're going to say into into name and surname but we also need to say which table so we need to say the learners tb so we actually need to specify the table so insert into learners and these are the two fields we want to insert into in the learners table then we're going to say the word values, values, not value, and what value. So the first value will be what we put into the name field, and the second value will be what we go into the surname field. Now, because these are text, we would put double quotes. So I could say A and B, and that would be what goes into the fields. So if I run this, it will just insert an A into the name field and a B into the surname field. But in this case, I want to not insert A. I want to insert whatever's in the s name variable so we're going to stop there we're going to stop the string there at the a forget about the stuff afterwards and now we're in delphi mode we've stopped the string now we're in delphi mode so our text is in black not in blue and i'm gonna say s name so because it's in black it's not referring to the actual word s name it's referring to the value inside the s name variable and then i'm going to go back into the string mode so that i can get that double quote at the end of it and then we want a comma, that's fine. And now instead of B, I want to put in surname. So I'm going to take that away. I'm going to stop the string here. So here we add in all this string. So let's look at it. All that string plus that string, whatever's the value inside that string variable, plus this string. And now I'm going to say plus the S surname variable. And then we still need a quote and bracket at the end. So we must add that string at the end. So we add in one, two, three, four strings together that will compile 
the actual string. And what I'm going to do before I run it, I'm actually, and this is a little tip if you ever make mistakes or if you're running code, especially when you're doing SQL with Delphi, just show this SSQL statement in a show message so you can see what it looks like to see that it's coming out the right way. Okay, so and then it's going to execute the SQL and tell us if things are changed. So let's run it. So we're doing question nine. So we're going to put in a name. I'm putting in my name, which is Mr. We'll pretend that's my first name, Mr. Boom. Surname, I'm going to say long. Now, before it does anything, it's going to have a show message. Insert into learners the name and surname. The you see how it's taken those variables and put the values in those variables in the right sequencing with double quotes around it. If it was a situation where I was inserting uh, integers, then I wouldn't need the double quotes. I could just have the value there. If it was dates, we must put hash tags around the dates. So those are things you must remember. Like booleans and numbers, you can leave like it is. They don't need anything around it. So I'm going to go, okay. One record was added. And let's go right to the bottom. And there's Mr. Long. Yay, he's, been, he's now in class. He can now go to school. He just can't do any subjects because nothing's been filled in. So that way we can fill in our details. So there we go. That is an insert using a bit of Delphi as well. Fantastic. Now let's do question 10, where we want to change all the learners doing economics to life science. So all those that do economics must change to life science. Hmm. They don't give me, tell me which field we're referring to. So we're referring to, let's look at the description. Let's go, combination of subjects. Well, there's economics. It looks like S5 is the only field that has economics. I'm assuming that. Okay, so there's eco. Yeah, eco is one of the combination for S5. So we want to take eco out and change it to life science, which is the LSC code. So that's what we want to do. So let's go to our Delphi. We're going to go to question 10. Boom. So this is a change. We want the records exist. We want to change them. So we're going to update the record. So we use an update statement. An update statement looks like update with the table name, which is going to be learners TB. And we are going to set something, something, and where will be the criteria for which fields are being set. If we just say set, it's going to change all of them. So in this case, we want to change the S5 field to the LSC code. Now, if I run it without the where, it's going to change everyone's S5 value to LSC. We don't want that. We only want to change those where the S5 at the moment is currently an ECO. So not, not a percentage sign, a five. So update the learners table. Set the S5 field to LSE, but only those where the S5 field is currently an ECO. You don't have to have S5 as the set and the where. It could be set S5 based on some other criteria, but in this case, it just happens to be replacing the stuff. So just remember the double quotes. So there we go. So let's have a run and see what it does. So we're going to say, and if you look at the code, it's going to say how many records are affected. So if I run number 10, Boom. There are 66 records edited. We're going to say OK. And if I click on it again, there should be zero. Yeah, well, there's a number of records. So if I go, I think this shows the, you know, that shows the educators. But if we go to insert, I think this one we insert into the learners. Let's add a random A and a B here. OK, so it adds one record. So let's look. Look at S5. Do we see any EC, ECOs? No, it doesn't look like all of them have been changed. OK. And then we can restore the database. And that database will then be reset back to its original state. So if I insert uh, D and an E as a name, I just, I'm doing this so that I can see the records in the learner table. I don't think I have a show all the learners. And there we can see, you see the echoes are back because we restored the database. So we know that that, gray, that question 10 is working. That little restore button just resets the database back to its real state, which is very useful because if we had forgotten to put in that where clause and changed everything, at least we can get back to our original state. Okay, now number 11, the last question of this mock test. We've done an insert. We've done an update. My funny bone is telling me that it's probably going to be a delete. Complete the code Q11 that removes the educators 
that teach economics. Not, they don't even get changed to life science. They just get removed. We are retrenching them. We are getting rid of the economics teachers. I don't know why, what they've done. Um, so we're going to remove the teachers. So we need to delete the teachers, the educators. So a delete uh, statement is going to say delete. And then you're going to say from which table. So in this case, it's the educators table. And then there's a where clause about what's the criteria. If I don't have a where clause, that's very dangerous because now you've deleted everything in the educators table. We can say where and what field will let's just double check what field we're referring to sorry for the headache sorry for the headache delete the teacher where the subjects is eco that's what we're looking for so where subjects equals eco so that's what we're looking for let's run it it's always nerve-wracking when i do a delete because you never know what's going to happen but luckily we've got our restore database i'm going to click on it there were two people removed. I'm going to click on this one because I remember the Q1 displays all the teachers. And let's look at subjects. Do you see any ECO? I don't see any ECO. It must be removed. There we go. And if I restore the database to its original state and do question one again, we should see two ECOs back. Tell me if there's an ECO. Ooh, there's another ECO. I don't think there's any more. Fantastic. So it was two ECI. So there we know it works. So there we go. So that's our last query for this test. So we've done 11 queries. We've done a couple of select statements and we've done an example of an update, a delete and an insert. So hopefully this video has been useful for you to practice your SQL. For more videos in this video series, as well as other questions, you can go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.